care, respect, and dignity as you or I. This philosophy will carry over to our new home. In fact, the building was designed to enable us to do even more caring for life. As you'll see on your tour, we now have separate neighborhoods for memory care, short-term rehabilitation, and long-term care. Our talented and specially trained staff can focus on caring for the residents in their respective units, even though there will still be centralized areas for therapy, activities, and events. Most of our residents will now have private rooms. Even semi-private rooms are separated by a wall. Married couples can have their own special space, and families of hospice residents who are at the end of life can stay with their loved ones in peaceful privacy. Our tour, guide, our tour guides will also tell you about the neighborhood dining areas and common spaces for visiting and activities. We'll even have our popular Lola's 1950s diner done very soon. You'll be amazed at what we've created here. Projects like this, they do not happen with just a few people. They come to life because of dedicated souls from all parts of the organization working together for months or even years in some cases. Our staff is the best. We've also had patient, curious, anxious, excited residents and family members who have supported us through this entire process. They show us so much love and kindness each day. They're the reason we do what we do. So to the staff, residents, and their loved ones, I want to give a resounding thank you. You've worked unbelievably hard through the ups and downs. You've been patient when we were stressed or didn't have an answer to your questions. It's all been worth it, and we know you can't wait to move in. Please join me in a big round of applause for these amazing people. Now I'd like to bring up our board chair, Harpanawi, to share with you the perspective of our three board members who kept us on track through this project. coming and thank you for allowing me to be here today. Uh, while many people have touched this project, uh, no one has spent more time with it than Shana. As a master certified registered nurse, I bet she never thought that one of her first tasks becoming a nursing home administrator would be to oversee a $25 million construction project. Uh, you have done an amazing job. We are very proud of how you stepped up to the plate on this one and uh, we're hoping that you get back to your day-to-day -day work very soon. Um, with that in mind, uh, the board uh, decided to get you a little gift. Um, I'm not sure where it is right now, <laughs> but I did want to present it to you at this moment. This is from uh, the board, and it, I'll read it to you. Your leadership has been pivotal on our long journey to the new building. Because of you, our workplace feels like a community. Thank you, Art, Londa, and Cindy. As for the board's perspective, um, there are two other board members that helped govern this pledge of you uh, on behalf of the Health and Human Services. That's Cindy Seville, who is here. Cindy, if you want to come up, or if you don't want to, that's fine too. <laughs> Wanda Knopf, who sent us her warmest wishes from a beach in Florida somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> or from the snow in Florida, I'm looking the way. Um, the board couldn't be happier about the new building. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we are honored to be the board leaders for you, and uh, we're happy to have gotten to oversee this project. As you heard from Shana, we have an amazing steering com committee, leadership team, and staff, as well as patient supportive residents and family members. We've had a fabulous design and construction team, too. There are so many people to thank. Our construction manager, Spence Brothers, uh, Chad Dean, Kelly Jenis, and Zach, Zach Meister. That's the best name ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, Edmund London Associate Architects, uh, WK Grill Company, Bayard Architects, Move Plan Group, and many other suppliers and consultants. And if I named them all, we'd be building a new facility by the time I was finished. So I'd like to thank our county commissioners, uh, Chairman Barks, Chairman Root, and that guy with the funny name between the two of them. Um, <laughs> we're here today because we all work together and I'm very proud to have been part of your team. Um, I'd like to bring back Shana uh, as our administrator, and it is your time. I want to thank you all again 
for being here today. Uh, before we wrap up, we do have some gifts for special people who have fed and guided our vision uh, over the past few years. So Hartman and Cindy, would you